Hey guys, Tom here. I'm going to show you how to um, repair and replace the um, seals on the back of an E36 half shaft. <clears throat> this one came off of a 97 M3. Um, got a repair kit here from GKM Parts. Uh, inner and outer repair kit. Uh, this here is the inner repair kit. Comes with a boot, sleeves, slip rings, and a bag of grease. Um, I don't like the grease that came with it. So, what I'm using is Redline CV2. Should be really good grease. Some of the tools that you're going to need obviously, good eye protection, rubber gloves, a pair of pliers for the snap rings. A little chisel to get the end pieces off, snap ring pliers. I have a 20 millimeter socket here, and then if uh, the axle shaft is being stubborn, uh, we can pound it out. And then if it's being stubborn coming back on, I have a, what is this, a 36 millimeter? Yeah, 36 millimeter socket uh, from Cobalt, ready to go. Uh, and a screwdriver. Uh, I've got my Wilton Vice here. Got Kaner the shop dog. Let's say hi Kaner. There he is. Always need to have some help with you. Um, and here's my donor car, 97 M3. Doing the whole repair here on the rear differential, the rear subframe. I uh, replaced all the bushings, new axle flanges, new brakes, new brake pads. But let's uh, let's get started here on this uh, axle rebuild. It's pretty easy. Um, let's see if I can get a camera set up here so we can see everything. Okay, we're back here. Hopefully that's going to be good enough for you guys to see what I'm up to. Put the gloves on. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is get this end off right here. Um, some of them sometimes are pretty hard to get off. Uh, that's what I use the chisel for. I kind of pre-chisel this one off to make the video easier. But stick your chisel in there. Just kind of hammer around it. If yours is stuck, uh, this cap will come off. Bang like that, showing the bearing on the inside, and here's the cap. Uh, the cap gets replaced in the kit, so that goes in the box. Uh, the next thing you want to do is take off the snap ring. There's a snap ring that holds this axle shaft onto the bearing. You've got a nice little set of uh, snap ring pliers. You can get these at Harbor Freight or Sears. Or uh, so we're going to reach in here. We'll snap ring off like that. Uh, now on one side of my car, it was really difficult to get this bearing off. Um, uh, we're going to probably chisel this flange back off here too. I've already pre-done that to make this video a little easier. Um, and now this bearing came off nice and easy. Uh, the other side, like I said, was a, a bit of a pain. I had to hammer it off. Um, but this one, I think if it's nice and greased, it should just slide right off. Uh, when you take it off, uh, there's a little bushing here. You want to make, be sure that uh, you keep that in the right orientation. It's got a, uh, a beveled edge. The beveled edge goes down a, against the, uh, the lock ring down in here. I want to set that aside. Oh, the other thing that you're going to want a lot of is um, paper towels. These things are really dirty. Uh, now, you're going to want to go ahead and break off the, um, the seal here, the, uh, the snap ring. I already did that for the sake of making this go a little quicker and then this tube just slide right off like so i want to throw that away I've got a spare one in the kit uh let's see here so you can kind of see the shaft and there's the lock split the uh, lock ring at the end of the splines uh now what we're going to want to do is this is going to be packed full of nasty grease i cleaned mine up a little bit for the video, so it won't take so long, but I'm gonna wipe all this old nasty grease off. Check the splines, make sure they look good. These look really, really healthy. Now this thing is gonna be packed full of grease. This is the actual CV joint itself. Um, now they actually come apart really easy. It's pretty cool. Um, if you just slide it sideways, like that, you can reach in and pull the balls out. 
So I'm going to reach in and take all the balls out. Just rotate it around. Oops, and there they go. Alright, so what you have now is you have the, uh, I don't even know what to call this, the wheel that goes on the splines, holds the ball bearings. This is the ball bearing race that holds all the ball bearings inside of it. And the actual coupler for the CV joint. Uh, go ahead and clean all this stuff up. Uh, do a really good job because, like I said, we're going to use Redline CV2 grease. And we don't want the old greases to mix with the new greases. So I'm going to pause this for a second while I clean this and I'll come right back. Okay, we're back. I feel like uh, one of those cooking shows where they go away for a while and cook the meal and then they come back and it's already done. Uh, what you'll see on here is there's two little lines here. There's one close to the edge and there's one kind of more in the middle of the um, CV joint here, the, the coupler. Um, what you want to do is the, the line that's closest to the front, that's actually going to go closest to the uh, differential. So we're going to want to build our, um, our CV back that way. Also, if you look at the, uh, the bearing holder here that's got the splines in it, uh, there's an uh, indentation. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. On this side, that side goes uh, towards the outside of the vehicle. This side goes inside towards the differential. So when we're rebuilding it, we want to pay attention to where those go. Um, the circlip, the um, snap ring is going to go on this side, and this side is going to go inside um, and rest against the uh, axle shaft. So here we go. We're going to rebuild this guy. Um, it's kind of a little bit of an art form. It took me a little while to figure this out, but put this guy back in the middle, like so. And then we're going to Start putting um, bearings in, the balls in. Uh, I started with two, just seemed to work better for me. Uh, you'll have to find a way that works for you, but a uh, little trial and error. Uh, slide that back in with two balls. You can see that, I got two balls in there like that. And then we're gonna rotate it open. So it's exposed like this, and we're gonna drop the ball in right there. Push it back down, and then just work your way around Dropping one ball at a time back in this guy. Um, rotate this one up, drop a ball in there. And we got the last one. The last one's always a little bit tougher. Um, sometimes you just gotta move this guy around. Shop dog, he's getting a little impatient. He wants this done already. We've got deadlines. Sorry about that. Came and the shop dog started barking, so we paused. But there we go. We dropped the last ball in. Make sure everything moves freely in there. Okay, once we got that, we're going to go ahead and put this guy back on the splines of the shaft. Said on my other one, oh, sorry. Orders of operations, let's not forget here. I have to put the boot on first. So we're gonna slide the, uh, the crimp seal down. And push the boot back on. Let's not forget that. Oh. Takes a little bit of love to get this guy back down on here. So he just goes like that. little persuasion to get it over the axle shaft there and we're going to go ahead and slide it on down and it's going to come over like this and slide it on down I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but there's a little groove right here. That's where you want the end of the seal to sit. It'll just drop in there really nice, and you'll know when it's in there. We'll drop that guy in there. Now, come back and put the CV joint back on. Like I said, this one slid on real nicely. My other one, um, my other one I had to hammer on. 
And you want to be gentle. These things should slide on nicely, but I just took a, a 36 millimeter socket, set it over the top of that, and, and gently tapped it on down. If, uh, if you're hitting it any harder than light to medium force, there's something wrong. Take it off and uh, make sure everything's good. Um, now what we're going to want to do is pack this guy full of CV2 grease. You don't want to be shy with it. Open up the back end here. Pack the back side with grease. We'll pack the front side of the grease. Uh, I'll come back when I'm done and uh, show you the reassembly. One thing I do want to mention is now is a good time to put the new snap ring in. Uh, we'll put the snap ring back over. The kit comes with a new snap ring, so we'll uh, put the new snap ring on. Just like so. Make sure it gets down in the groove there. These things are always fun. There we go. New snap ring in place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pack this thing full of grease and I'll be right back. Okay, well, just when you think you have enough grease in it, go ahead and put some more on there. That uh, kind of worked that through there. Make sure everything's free and moving clean. And then, uh, like I said, pack some more grease on there. And then we're just about done with this. Um, so we got new caps with the kit. I'm going to put the caps on, line up the holes. What I did to cheat was. Uh, I took the differential bolts, the Torx bolts, put them in the holes, push them through. Um, that way I was, be sure, I was sure to get my uh, holes to line up. And then what I did is to get these guys sealed closely, I just put them in my vise and ever so gently went around and squeeze these together. Um, depending on your CV joint here, these may go on easily and uh, maybe they won't. Mine, I just wanted to press them down so they were um, secure. Um, once that's done, uh, we'll go to the other side. It's going to be the same process. Um, let's see if I'll do a video for that or not, but it should be about the same as doing this end. So, anyway, thanks. Uh, tune in for the next episode. I'll be doing some more uh, E36 M3 repairs. Until uh, next time, thanks guys.